this is unboxing video of Shimano Tranks 300A. I just got it in the mail today from Melton International Tackle. With a promotional discount of $25 and free shipping, I paid $255 for it, and that was the cheapest that I could find at the time. And I bought rods from Melton International Tackle, and I think they have great customer service. And on the reel, I'll be putting on J Braid 30 pound test. And this was also on sale on Amazon. Uh, I paid $16.76 for 330 yards of 30 pound test. And the reviews, um, it, it's a good mix of reviews. I think that's the case for most lines that's out there. Any kind of braid or mono, people have good experience, bad experience, and it's usually hard to find something that has mostly positive. I guess unless you pay high dollar for it. And I laid out some reels in comparison because I bought the Tranks 300 um, to use for lighter inshore fishing, uh, maybe piers, bridges, and uh, 200 was a little too small. 300, this uh, Curado, this is okay, but it's on the little heavier side, and I don't feel comfortable using it on, in salt water. So the Tranks is designed to be used in salt water, or it's salt water approved. And of course, the 400 is way too big for any kind of light fishing, light inshore fishing. So this is a Daiwa Lexa HD 400 size. This is the Curado 300 EJ, and this is the Daiwa Coastal TWS. And it's very light. Okay. Manual. Ooh, okay. So this is probably for braking, centrifugal braking system. Well, and the reel. Okay, it looks nice, sexy. 300, 300A, made in Malaysia. Um, before I put the line on, I'll see how much it weighs, just for kicks. It weighs 11.3 ounce um, without the line. And just in comparison with the uh, Coastal 200, it's 8.3. 8.5 and that's with the line and the Shimano Curado yep 12 ounce even and going back to it 11.3 so there's not that much difference in weight and I guess I should have done my homework but and then the 400 just in comparison is of course 18.3 ounces so Yep, expected. So I'm going to be putting on the line now. Looks like I'm going to be putting on mono backing, maybe 20 pound test. I'll be putting on 25 pound mono backing on this and this is just tight line offshore angler brand from BPS. I just put a thin layer of mono backing and uh, used armor knot and I'll be putting on uh, the braid by tying uni to uni mono to braid. going on fairly smoothly. 
I might need to make some adjustments. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it has an hourglass uh, shape to it, the way the line's being spooled. There's a little bit of an hourglass shape. And uh, I think it's not bad enough where I need to re-spool. I'm just going to continue to put the line on and I guess fix it later if I think it's really bad. But it's not going on as evenly as I expected it to. It could also be a user error, something that I'm doing wrong. The line is evening out a little bit more. Uh, so the hourglass shape is gone and it looks even. So as expected, I did not, I was not able to put the whole 330 yards of braid on it, especially with mono backing. Um, there's a lot of line left, not sure how much. And I ended up over spooling uh, this reel, but I'm usually okay because I'm not casting too far at least. Uh, first outing, first outing of just trying to get a feel for uh, this reel and just getting used to it so and I'm sure I'll lose some line as I'm breaking this in so the next step is to put some leader on it and I ran out of fluorocarbon unfortunately so I'll be putting a mono um, 30 pound test so I don't have fluorocarbon but I do have fluoroclear and P line so I'll put this on there I think it might work better than the mono this is how it turned out. This is how it turned out. Turned out fairly well. And 30 pound test braid to 30 pound test uh, floor clear. It's pretty solid. Remember, uh, the first time that I'll be using this reel is to just get used to it, so I won't be casting my hardest and just trying to get used to it. Again, I know I overspooled the reel. Uh, but I'm happy the way it turned out in terms of uh, the way it spooled the uh, the braid line. And again, just as a comparison, here's the Curato 300A or 300EJ, and then Daiwa. So these two are 300 class reels, and this is a 200 class reel. See with the line. Comes out to eleven point nine twelve ounce. Eleven point nine twelve ounce. So essentially these are the same in terms of weight. But it's definitely designed smaller. Um, I think it'll I'd be able to palm it a little better than the EJ.